So another quarter of optometry school has come and went. It's actually not just another, it's my first quarter of optometry school, although it feels like I've been in optometry school for so long. So let's go ahead and break it down, the things I learned, starting with the good, the bad, and the ugly. What's up YouTube, it's Josh Reese, making optometry easy. And today we're just gonna be breaking down just the things I learned in optometry school this quarter. Now a quarter is about 12 weeks long, including finals week. And so really you're in the thick of it for 12 weeks. It's like a condensed semester. And optometry school is in quarter systems for me just because I feel like they f are able to fit in more information that way because there are more finals and there is more and more midterms and the lectures go faster and so you're able to get through and test yourself on more information than just a semester. But this first quarter of optometry school has taught me so much and I just wanna share things with you so that your first year in optometry school can go so much better than mine did. And mine wasn't horrible, but there are definitely some things that could have gone better. So the first good that I'm gonna start out with in optometry school is that it's so much fun being an optometrist. I've dreamt about this day for so long. I've worked as an optician, I've worked as a vision therapist, being in the pre-optometry club at my college. It's all just surreal, finally getting to this point to being on the fast track to becoming an optometrist. So much of my time in the last few years has really been dreaming of these moments that I'm in right now. So it's just surreal to be with some of the people you've looked up to the most, to be friends with people who used to be your competition. And it's really so cool to just feel like you're becoming a doctor. You're learning all these weird anatomy stuff. And honestly, I've learned so much more here in this last 12 weeks than I ever have in my entire life. It's so amazing and it's kind of hard, but it's just so surreal and it feels rewarding already. Okay, one of the bads that is in optometry school, and I'm gonna start out with the hardest first, and that is, I didn't think that it would be such a trying time. It's, it was all fun and games until the first few exams came and failure was on the table. Now I know that, you know, you go through the OAT and you go through all of the prerequisites in undergrad, and you go through a grueling application process and you arrive at this point and you think, okay, I've gotten this far and the worst is behind me. But that's not true because all of those things you did up until that point were to prepare you for optometry school, to be able to see if you can make it through hard things and that now is the time to make it through the hard thing. This, this first year, these first few quarters and semesters of optometry school were what those exams were preparing you for. And so really failure looks you in the face and not just failure as in, I wanted to get an A on this exam, but I got a C. Failure in optometry school looks like actual Fs and they're closer than you think. And you yourself or some of your best friends may be on the verge of failing out of optometry school or repeating a year. And that sucks. But the, the good thing that comes out of that is you all suffer together and you're there for each other. And so it, it's really horrifying to be able to, to know that it's all on the line. But really, if it wasn't all on the line, we wouldn't be able to be doctors at the end of this all. So it's, it's hard going through these horrible moments together with exams that'll knock your socks off and professors that might not teach the way you want to and nights where you just have to study the material on your own and nights where you have to study them with friends and above all that's just optometry school is pushing through and grinding and it's hard to learn how to grind it's really it's really hard to learn how to grind especially when when failure is on the table now before we jump into some of the uglies i want to go ahead and throw in another good and that good is that optometry school is opening so many doors already. Even in just the first quarter, I've been able to become great friends with some of my professors. And some of these people 
I literally can look at them and say, you are exactly who I want to be when I grow up. And to think that we're friends already and that these connections are already in place is just so amazing. I know that it's, well, it's crazy to think that these friendships that I'm making right now with peers and with the faculty at Midwestern are going to be employment opportunities and friendship opportunities and that will potentially take on research projects or different things together. And it's crazy to think that these people that I'm wanting to become are here, helping me become who they are. And so that becoming process with, with best friends that you're already making is just kind of crazy. Now I know what you must be thinking, what are the uglies? Now the first ugly I'm going to talk about is the schedule. It is ugly out there in the real world. Really when you're uh, um, faced with class every day from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Not every day, it varies a little bit, but that's really the bulk of your schedule. 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. every single day is spent just learning. There's an hour of lunch in there for you, but half lunch you're spending studying anyway. And after that, you know, if you want to pass your exams, you're gonna have to spend some of the time studying after that. And some days, and every Tuesday for me, I have an exam at 7 a.m. And so that means getting up around 5.30 to be able to get ready and get to school to take the exam. So all of these things in your schedule, it's really ugly. And some nights you'll have evening exams where you won't get out of an exam until like 7 or 8 p.m. And on top of that, you're gonna have to finish some of your lab assignments on campus, practicing on your classmates until pretty late at night. And you're gonna have to finish those optics problems that are due at midnight. And you're gonna have to study for your exam that you have in two days and eventually prepare for finals week. And the schedule really gets ugly. And if you have a family and if you have friends, they might not see a lot of you, and that is a harsh and ugly reality that you kind of have to face. I know Kiwi here hasn't seen me for a long time, but it's okay. She's got her toy. Come on, Kiwi. But she knows that we'll be able to get through the ugly of optometry school together. All right, one more good that happens in optometry school is that you feel so supported. As hard as it is, and I've already talked about you, right? All of them before, it's pretty hard. Even the good parts are that it's hard and you're learning so much, but you feel supported through it all. You have the greatest faculty right there next to you that you can talk to with open office hours and you have your students next to you who have gone through the same things that you have and you just feel so supported. There are counselors if you need to talk to them, mental health specialists if you need to talk to them. There are all of these support systems built in for you to help you feel supported in optometry school and you really feel like everyone's there to help you become an optometrist. Because really that's what, that's what it's all about, is to help each other push through and be able to make it to that end goal. And you feel every day more and more capable to do so because of everyone that's there to support you. So it just, uh, one of the best things that's here about optometry school is you feel so supported from your friends and family and everyone on the faculty. All right, one last bad I'd have to say is that your hobbies go to the side, right? Your, everything that you used to like to do, you're gonna have to do less. And so I used to be a long distance runner. I used to like to run marathons and things like that. And I haven't been able, to, well, and I wasn't able to do that in undergrad at all either, but right, I thought maybe, maybe I'd be able to continue some of those more time consuming hobbies, but no, that's one bad thing about optometry school is your hobby is now becoming an optometrist. And sometimes it's great. There are some clubs that you can go to and everything that really helps you be a better optometrist and it's a lot of fun. And so you don't feel like you're missing out too much, but you do have to put to the side a lot of the things you like to do, right? The longest run I've been on lately is about four miles, which is pretty good, but I used to like to run more. And so, right, your hobbies kind of take a side burner, but I did, um, played pickleball for the first time in a long time today, so that was cool. You you get a, although you don't have enough time for everything you like to do, you do still get some time for things, so. And I've been real quiet about this last ugly, and that is debt. The ugliest thing about optometry school is that you can't 
I don't have enough money to, to go to optometry school, so I have to be taking out loans. And so it's weird to think that every day you're going to school, you're paying so much money for these classes and kind of digging yourself in a financial hole. And I don't know what it is, but something about finances stresses me out or like, I don't know, it fascinates me and I kind of like obsess over it. I love finance, but it, it sucks to be going into debt. And so maybe one of these days I'll talk about kind of how I make money and make it through, but it really is just kind of the ugliest thing about optometry school is that's why you don't think about it too much, but if you stop and think about it too much, you're, you're going into a lot of debt, but every optometrist that I know has been able to pay it off without an issue. So, right, you're going to be able to go into debt, but as ugly as it is, it's something that will be temporary and you will be able to make it through and have uh, a fulfilling life without all of those chains weighing you down. So the ugliest part, it's only going to be ugly for a little bit longer and then and then we'll be able to pay them off after, right? And we'll be able to be in a more financially stable situation. It won't be so ugly anymore. <laughs> so that was the good, the bad, and the ugly of optometry school. And especially here in my first quarter and kind of what I learned, uh, I still have so many more quarters to go, like 14 more. <laughs> and um, it'll be great to, to just become an optometrist and keep chugging through all of this optometry school. If you want to provide any support, go ahead and comment down below something to keep me going. <laughs> and uh, make sure to subscribe to follow the optometry journey. And don't forget to be a part of my social media down in the description. And apparently YouTube thinks that you might wanna watch this video next. Go ahead and prove them right or prove them wrong. And we'll see you in the next one.